have you always lived in Swanee? No. <laughs> Tell me how you ended up here. Well, I'm an army brat, so um, my dad was 20 years military, but um, I went to graduate school, got my PhD at University of North Carolina at Greensboro, and I got a job at Brunel University. Okay. So that's what brought me this to this to Georgia. And then got married and had daughter. And so once she was school age, I wanted to return to you know public school so I, so we could share a schedule. So mm-hmm. and um, so we built a house here, had our house built here, and been here since two thousand twenty since um, I guess nineteen ninety eight. Oh, okay, wow. Where all did you live growing up? I was born in Alexandria, Virginia, and then moved to um, Denver, Colorado. And New Jersey and Kansas, Germany, Massachusetts. I'm one of five kids. We all were born in a different um, city. Oh, so really? So we all have a picture taken in front of our hospital. So, and then my, my dad was a dentist after, he was a dentist in the military, but also when he retired. So they retired to Asheville, North Carolina when I was 50, in the 10th grade and lived there, um, you know, for like 20 years. Like, I, I don't know, I guess how they lived there longer. But then um, after co- after my parents put us all through college, they said they had two rules. They're not raising any grandkids, and we have to find our own cities. So we could not live in Nashville. <laughs> really? They said, no, we're done. We're just, just go, you know, be independent. So nobody could live in Nashville. So um, I lived, I, I, oh, I forgot. After college, I went to the Peace Corps. So I lived in Kenya for two years. Oh, wow. um, after, Yeah, went to college in Virginia, William and Mary. So, um, yeah, but... After that, nope, can't come home. Nope, go, you know, stay a little bit, but just, no, we're done, you know, so. <laughs> That's too funny. You don't hear a lot of parents with that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good, be- I think, because, um, and in fact, my dad just passed a couple years ago at one of my, at his memorial, one of them said, we were wondering, why, how come none of the Oglesby kids, you know, lived in Asheville? They said, well, I said, well, my parents said we couldn't, because we used to find our own <laughs> cities. And she was horrified, but I guess I just grew up with that. I'm like, you know, it's it normal. made us independent. Right. Right? Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. Did you love Asheville, though? Oh. Um, well, it's, it was different from the Asheville that's now, now because now it's all touristy and kind of hippie. There, it was just, you look up on the mountains and all you saw was mountain. And mm-hmm. every now and then, like a, a house dotted the land, you know, the right. mountainside. But, and we could walk. I mean, I'd walk from the mall. I'd just walk anywhere. But I guess um, I went back. I returned maybe like five years ago. And I was like, what is this? Like downtown is this? I mean, it's, it's almost like a different city, yeah. you know? And so... Um, I don't know. People like are trying to be hip or just all this, but yeah. downtown it was just this quiet, laid back kind of lazy place. You know, I mean, there's really nothing to do, and yeah. so, but so we'd go um, like tubing. You know, go up on um, the parkway, just tube, just do fun stuff. But yeah. all the and they had this festival called Bell Share, and it's I remember we first started because my mom's sorority she helped they had helped start it, but then it became like the largest um, street festival in like the southeast, and then soon it just got out of control. So people jammed the streets, you know. Mm-hmm. But so that's yeah. So, but so my I'm glad my parents are glad they moved when they did. Yeah, because they're, they're originally from North Carolina, so their relatives were closer to like um, they live in Kernersville, also Winston Salem. So okay. that my mom's got you know her sisters there. My you know so they've got relatives. They want family there. They said. People, they've got more people their age who do stuff, you know. So yeah. that's pretty much it. So <laughs> that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the house that you live in now? How you came to have it? What style of house it is? Okay. Well, um, see. Let's see. So after, let me see. I'm not known for telling short stories, but I'm going to try. No, you're fine. Okay. Speak as freely as okay. much as you like. Um, so I was in grad school that I met my soon-to-be husband. And so I moved here. I taught at Brunel University. You know, he, it was the longest relationship because he was in um, Greensboro, North Carolina. And then so we decided to get married. And I had a rule. I didn't want to live with anybody. And he, and, but then... Then I also wanted to like get married in my parents' house because this beautiful home in Asheville. And so he said, okay. And then I didn't want my husband being in a different state. He goes, okay, so your rules are kind of <laughs> overlapping. So you don't just have a lot of living in different states, but we can't live together before we get married. 
So, so he made it work. So we did what we, uh, <laughs> he, um, let's see, he drove, drove a truck. He moved, he sold, cause he, he was a homeowner then. So uh-huh. he moved everything. I was in an apartment. So actually I was in a one bedroom. So I moved to the, I got the two bedroom right across the parking lot. So he <laughs> moved all his stuff down in a truck, in a big truck. Then we hauled his stuff into the, our new apartment and we drove to Asheville and this was a Friday that we drove to Asheville. And so that night we met with the minister at my house. We had a quick, you know, um, um, what do you call it? Premarital counseling, mm-hmm. which, you know, probably a sign we're divorced now, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we still two houses, one family. That's our, our motto, you know, so Mina, you know, she, she's a daddy's girl. So he's just, he just lives like 10, 10 miles away. You know? right. I mean, he just stopped mowing the lawn like five years ago. So, <laughs> but anyway, so then we, um, so that was that. So we, and so then we got married the next day. And so, and then we drove back to, you know, come back, came back here as a married couple, you know, so, and then I had to fly because I was presenting at a conference. So our honeymoon was in Chicago because I was presenting at a conference. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, long story short. So we, um, see, we said, okay, we can be married like three years and we said okay let's, let's have a child so we did and so Cedric he said I found a house for us I found a house I said okay because like I said my parents always I just always lived in really pretty homes and his his parents were from he grew up in Pulaski Virginia and it just looks like it's gorgeous I mean it looks like Switzerland I'm like where the mm-hmm. heck is just these gorgeous mountains and his parents his last name is Cruz you know and so they live on Cruz Avenue I mean Cruz Street I mean they just and it was like a lot of space so mm-hmm. He, so he found this neighborhood because he, you know, because he used to work in um, Gainesville. So he'd come up Buford Highway to go to work because we lived in Alpharetta. And so anyway, he goes, Penny, all you see. So I looked and I was like, wow, this is pretty. I said, we can never afford this. And so we're looking at prices and we're like, shoot, let's just buy our own, you know, build our own. I have a built. And he's tall. He's 6'6", 175 pounds. So that's why we have like elevated like ceilings and like everything is just kind of high. So he, yeah. he won't feel like really short. Yeah. So... <laughs> And even the, the bathroom, the shower heads are like really high, you know. <laughs> he said he wants to be able to reach up for once, you know. So, <laughs> so that's pretty much it. So we, um, so then here's So things. you built. Had a built, yeah. Built. And then we just, um, we're very um, frugal. He's, he, I learned my frugality, but so we, he wanted to let her pay it. So we did, we paid it off in like 14 years, you know. And so we just, um, so my joke is, you know. I get my clothes at Goodwill, but the house paid for, you know, so, <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, and I had one in the basement. He's like, no, cause he thinks I'm a pack rat. We're very opposite. And so like, I love to read. I love, he goes, no, we, you know, let's not get a basement. Cause you'll just have a bunch of stuff. I'm like, no, no. you know? And so, but I'm kind of glad we don't have a basement now because my neighbors, the, the house you went into, um, the <laughs> house you mistakenly walked into and the man let you in. Well, they have a basement and I guess we had, there was like a, Hurric- was there a hurricane, not a hurricane, but an earthquake? Remember a couple of years ago, there was like an earthquake mm-hmm. in Metro Atlanta. Well, that earthquake, um, it shifted the house so much that the crack, there are cracks in their basement wow. wall because their, their basement is gorgeous because the son who lives there also now, he refinished it. and He, he just, oh, it was beautiful. But just the walls are out of alignment. Everything yeah. just shifted because it was in the earth, you know? Right. I'm like, well, shoot, good thing we don't have a basement, you know? So... <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, got a roof, got the, had to get, you know, like after 20 something years, things break, you know. Right. So, so we all had got, our, we all got our roofs to get, you know, and I'm thinking, man, I remember thinking about solar panels because I think there are a couple houses. Well, this leg of the neighborhood is like the newer leg, even though it's like 20, 21 years old. But um, when you first came in up front, that's like, maybe 10 years older and there's some okay. solar panels there and I just really like that I'm like this is because I like a lot of light yeah. you know so but it was so funny because at my friend's house the other day and we were talking she's she's a realtor and so she was saying I said I love what are, are those solar panels I said I would love those she said, this house was built like um, I think she's like in the 80s or mm-hmm. late 70s she said that was just a feature that was just a regular feature I said I, I would love to have that you know so yeah, I heard um, through another interview that I listened to, I heard someone mentioning the like during Jimmy Carter's presidency, mm-hmm. he had like a solar panels program. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of houses built around that time. Okay, okay, that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. Both, both had them. Yeah. And my daughter, um, 
you know, it was, um, in fact, I went to pick her up there because her friends were there. And so said that, oh, it's just so, like, bright and, you know, just, and the dog, she took snowballing with her. I don't know why. But anyway, so she snowballs just, like, all spread eagle in the sun, you know, and, yeah. and the light. So. So, you know, like, solar, pan, like, solar panels and solar, are you speaking of, like, a skylight? Um, or like the solar panels that are for like solar energy. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. But all I know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I think it, they look like windows on the roof, mm-hmm. you know? And so, um, what is this? Maybe that's not a solar panel. I, I don't, mean, it could be. I don't know if it's like harvesting sunlight or it's just letting the sun in, you know? Right. So... Um, she said that, I don't know, but she did say that it helps with their, um, bill because she said it in, you know, like she doesn't have to, she, she likes it warm in the house. So, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it could be. Okay. I don't know. I, but I wonder, do, what do they look, how do they, look? my understanding is that they, I don't know. It looks like a thick, it's like a thick pane sitting, you know, it's kind of raised a bit on the, on the roof. Mm-hmm. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so have you ever invested in solar on your rooftop of your home property as part of your business or as a part of a program through your utility? No. Can you tell me a little bit why not? I just never... When we built our house, it didn't even occur to us. Mm-hmm. But every time I get my taxes done, I go to my accountant. She's like, do you have any, you know, like any solar panels, any, you know, energy saving features in your house? Because I guess there's a deduction. I'm like, oh, wow. Yes. I didn't know that. So I said, no, no, I don't. Sorry. Did that make you consider it a little well, bit more? Well, because I, no, because that's just not a priority now. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just, um, I, um. My next big project is I want to get a deck, you know, just mm-hmm. do my backyard stuff. So that's just not just, especially since we just got the roof like five years ago. I don't want to just go up and, you know. Right. This, it just sounds like an expensive prospect. You know? Although I have not looked into it, but it just sounds expensive. Yeah. What other things besides the deck are are more of a priority, I guess. I guess just a deck and, um, well, me not getting me through college, you know, mm-hmm, of course. like you're going to pay for what the hope doesn't pay for. So, so, and then, um, just, um, you know, that I want to get, um, I got information to get long-term health insurance because my dad, um, he passed when he was 87. And so he, he was ready to go. He was like, you know, cause he said, once he's no longer mobile, he's ready to go. I said, I don't say that. How about, he goes, nope, nope, nope. And so I said, but he said, if he can't drive, you know, he's ready to go home. And so I'm like, somebody else can drive you. I mean, he just, nope, nope. And I said, and I said, um, are you serious? Don't joke like this. He's like, I am serious. And so he had hip replacement. So he was having chronic pain, you know, right. and he's probably like, you know, screw this. So it's almost like we're kind of like, he can't, he just did his, you know, on his own, he passed it home. My sister who's a daddy's girl was right there on the couch. But my, so it just happened the way it should have been, it should have happened, you know? Of course. And then Donald Trump, I think he was like, okay, I've seen it all, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think he was like, he's with Obama. He thought, I never thought I'd live to see a, an African-American president ever, you know? Cause he, cause my parents, they were born in segregation. So right. they had to leave North Carolina to go to, to go to medical school and nursing school. They couldn't, they couldn't go to Duke or Carolina or state, anything, you know, it's yeah. like, so they're just like to see my dad said it was like he's just seen and they've traveled so much I think it was just he just felt really he just really lived a rich life yeah. you know and then it got to the point where like and then Donald Trump he was just you know just laughing like, I mean he was, mind. he was like okay you know <laughs> enough I'm done yeah <laughs> oh that's amazing mm-hmm. um so Tell me why you do not have rooftop to- solar. Did you consciously make that decision or do you feel like it was made for you? I don't even recall when we picked out the accoutrements for the house. I don't even recall it being asked, mm-hmm. you know. And the funny thing is I listened to Clark Howard on the radio. And so, I mean, so I did everything Clark Howard said do. You know, right. get a, you know, get a, your own inspector and have them, you know, and Cedric's like, I'm not paying for this. I said, well, Clark Howard said the Clark Howard. So... And I'm glad I did because the guy, he just saved us a lot of money. You know, yeah. like I was like, even when they just had like the cement poured. No, Clark Howard said that you don't have to, you know. And so I had an inspector every step of the way. <laughs> but I think had that been presented as an option, uh-huh. 
But it just never occurred to me at all, you know. Yeah. We're just busy picking out the color of the, you know, the right. slate, you know. Yeah. Not thinking about, oh, do you want some soul or something here? So. And I think in the houses we, I grew up in because, you know, stone house or brick house, we live in military bases, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, our, and even when the few times we live in a civilian community, it just, we just never, you know, just never came up or anything, you know, so. Did you ever see any solar in any of the military bases? <coughs> um, mm-mm. No. No. Nope. Okay. Um, okay, so next what we're going to do is I'm going to provide you with a map of the U.S. Mm-hmm. And what I'm going to have you do is... Please don't have me list the states. <laughs> yeah, you have to label every single state. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Can I tell you something? I <laughs> no. cheated and... Um, all, no, no. All you have to do... Oh, just, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was just teasing. All oh. you have to do is um, you're going to mark up how, however you wish, circle, draw mm-hmm. an X, you know, whatever color men, whatever you mm-hmm. wa- you'd like. As many or as few as you choose, but the areas that you think utilize the most rooftop solar on the Okay. Homes. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. There's no right or wrong. It's just yeah. based off what I'm you think. I'm just trying to think of like places that are, well, because you have to have a place with a lot of sun. Mm-hmm. And then I'm thinking, like, who's, because I know we used to live in Massachusetts and like the, the, the winter season is so long. That's why they, my parents moved down. They said they just needed a serious summer. Yeah. But then I'm thinking, but then I'm thinking, well, maybe if um, you like New England where it's cold, maybe people would have, well, that doesn't make sense because if you had like rain, snow, it's like settle on it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know. I'm just talking this loud. I feel like I'm on one of those TV shows, you know, like trying to, who, you know, who wants to be a millionaire trying to decide, <laughs> well, let's see. Um, then I'm guessing, I'm, I'll say California because sort of like, you know, I don't know. Um, Facebook people there, technology um, I have no idea. Um, are you going to tell me the answer? There's no. Um, oh, oh, this is just getting yeah, information. It's okay. Just what you. Oh, I see. Based off of what yeah, you think yeah. and know. Solar panel. Hmm. Maybe Florida. Retirees. Um, a lot of wealthy people there. Um, my friend who lives down the street. Let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Because I'm like, North Carolina, I'm thinking, I'm, well, the elevation is high. Like, it's like 7,000 feet. And so, I'm, I don't know. You're close to the sun. Heck if I know. I have no idea. But why not Texas? Um, okay. 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 And can you tell me a little bit about what uh, the states you chose and, and why? Well, your reasoning? I'm just thinking, um, just community innovation, like um, and like in Oregon, you know, there's just so many, you know, Oregonians. They just seem like on the cutting edge of. I mean, they're always protesting something, you know. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then um, I'm thinking California. You got like Silicon Valley techies. I'm just guessing, you know, Bill Gates. They probably want to, you know, push that. Um, Washington State, I'm guessing, same thing, I don't know, it just seems like there's probably, I know the University of Washington is there, maybe like, yeah, because maybe like where research universities are, yeah, like maybe, and then North Carolina, you know, Chapel Hill, let's see, um, Texas, I'm thinking there's several universities there, maybe researchers there or something, um, hmm, what is it about the technology community that you that leads you to think that they would want to utilize solar energy? Um, I think that because I was reading something that San Francisco has the most millionaires anywhere in the U.S. I'm not sure if that's right, but it just seems like um, part of being a millionaire is, I mean, to try to be like an every man kind of person. It's like you know you're concerned about the environment and everything. You know, mm-hmm. while you know you're you know you're the one percent, but still you know you want to. Maybe have like maybe be socially responsible. I don't know. I just um, can see. Um, well, and then I was reading something that Zuckerberg. What's his name? Zuckerberg. The mm-hmm. guy, well, he developed this um, box with a light in it for his wife. Do you hear about that? Like mm-hmm. he, um, she, she wakes up at night because she can't, she can't sleep because the alarm goes off and they've got like a young child, whatever. So he developed this um, glow box, and so instead of 
um, so it just kind of the, the light gradually comes on and it doesn't make a sound or anything and so and so it can wake her up when he's got set to wake up a certain time so it'll wake her up and then she can wake up to get the kids you know whatever but and so he said that hey any entrepreneurs out there you can feel free to take this piece of technology and everything and so the, the comments were pretty funny so people said it's it's already like being it's already been developed it's called a nightlight but anyway <laughs> <laughs> but um i don't know i just think that i don't know if that makes sense but he just yeah. um seems like there's a lot of money there and i i know even um gates has the foundation where they're looking entrepreneurs to develop something for you know, harvesting sunlight or just, um, I mean, like, um, so that the, like, coal and things that are polluting the air, you know, just some alternative energy sources, I guess. Yeah. I Do you think that people of a greater income, ha- ha- like, have the privilege of, of carrying, have mm-hmm. that social responsibility, whereas other people... Um. You know what? I think it's really interesting because I think that, um, I think it depends where you are because I think like maybe if people who live in rural areas, I mean, the sun is everything. You figure if you grow your own vegetables, a lot of people don't even have a dryer. I mean, my my grandparents here, like they were real farmers, a little farm. I mean, my parents got them a dryer like when in the 80s, but they mm-hmm. just were dryer. They just hung their clothes outside. They grew right. all their own vegetables. I mean, they... Um, so everything that they had, you know, I'm like, they were taking advantage of the sun's power, you know, like, right. and my grandma, she would like, her, her yard was gorgeous because she'd save her own seeds because we're like, because I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, you know, did she go to Pikes? I mean, where do you go? <laughs> but my mom's like, no, she just saved her own seeds. I'm like, how did you do that? You know, and so like, she just grew all kinds of stuff, you know, and so, um, and so I think the sun, I don't know, it just seems like. I don't know if you work the land. I don't know. You maybe you're closer to land anyway, and you just yeah figure out ways to you know use the sun. Like there's kind of that natural way to utilize exactly. It, and yeah. then there's people who live in suburbia and yeah, cities, like, and then like the richer people are yeah, like, like learning to utilize hey, it. And I got it. How can we get the sun? <laughs> well, you know, and like even even like just think times like people okay to open the windows. You know, mm-hmm. instead of, um, you know, open the windows, let's get some, you know, sunlight in. Let's, um, instead of, how can we get some, get some more fluorescent lights in the house? Just, you know, that kind of thing. Right. So, it seems like it's just kind of natural, you know. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, when I lived in Kenya, I lived in a, I was um, a rural area with no running water, no electricity. And um, the... I mean, in the cash cash crop, there was um, coffee, but people weren't allowed to consume it. It was just Mm -hmm. for export only. But in terms of the sun, I mean, just everything. I mean, just and because when um, I mean, just every. I guess the house courtyards were open, you know, and I don't know. Just think about there's such an efficient use of, you know, the energy. The few things that were there, people were cash farm cash crops. They used cash crops, but. you know, just, I mean, in terms of washing, gosh, like, you know, people would, you know, just cook outside, just if something was sunny to dry anything, there's no, you know, it's just, yeah. just natural in terms of, because I think we're so, we're like, so we're power, you know, what's there, so. Right. <laughs> um, can you tell me what, you didn't circle Georgia, so what makes the communities that... Mm. You circle. No, no, no. It's not wrong. Just, I know. I, I, yeah. I, um. What do you think makes the communities and the places you circle yeah. different than the ones in Georgia or the um, people? Um, that's so funny because I, why, why did I, um, circle Georgia? I have no idea. Um, well, let's see. Um, I guess I haven't, because I read like the front pages of a lot of paper. I guess mm-hmm. I haven't heard that for, for politicians, I haven't really heard that on as an on the agenda much, you know. I mean, there's abortion laws and stuff, but I just haven't heard, you know, um, any campaign speeches about, I guess, solar yeah. energy that much. I don't know. Um, is there? Do you think that the attitude towards solar energy in Georgia is different from the places that you 
circle. Um, hold on, let me just get something real quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, this is, I'll just confirm. Um, <laughs> was it this one? No, no, oh. no. Um, <laughs> um, I think because um, I think I I definitely picked North Carolina because this is North Carolina, right? Yeah. So it's a, okay, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Because I think there's just a lot with Research Triangle Park there. I mean, there's just so much you know activity going on. Um, but I don't know. I just don't. In my conversations with people, I just don't hear a lot of talk about solar, mm-hmm. you know, energy or at all. You know, um, so. And this is just like a spot. This is an yeah. impulsive thing. Yeah. Um, so. And it's interesting because have you seen those indoor farms? Like these, because my sister-in-law has one. Like she's got this thing in her sunroom, which ironically, there's no sun. I mean, you know, she's got windows, you know, but it's like a window. Right. But she's growing um, vegetables in, you just go on this tower, uh-huh. you know. And so I just thought it was pretty interesting. Yeah. So. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but <laughs> I like throw it out there. Mm-hmm. So, so do you think that people's attitude towards solar is different in Georgia than the um, than the places? I, I don't know because I think a lot of people who live, especially in metro Atlanta area, are not originally from Georgia. It's mm-hmm. such a transit place, so right. I don't um, know. I think this generation, um, like I teach ninth grade. Students are so much more aware. I mean, I just they're like woke, as they say. I mean, they just <laughs> although it's really interesting because they'll talk about recycling, but then then nobody wants to drive ride the bus, you know. Right. To say, I'm like, wait a minute. I mean, how are you going to conserve? But you don't. Wanna, it's not cool to ride the bus. That doesn't make any sense, you know. But I think they are. I think this generation is going to be probably the solar power generation of anything because they. I don't know, they read a lot more, and they've got access to social, the, you know, the media, right. and um, they're not afraid to take a stand, like, walking out of school, you know, let's protest. I mean, I just yeah. think that I could see it exploding with this generation, so... Yeah, there seems to be a lot more activism going yeah, on completely. Than, than the yeah. past 30 oh, yeah. years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so, and the fact that they can get, and even, like, this... Um, like Julian Assange, the, the leaking of the, you know, I mean, I just think they can get information that typically wasn't accessible to like maybe my generation, you know? Right. So, especially with even not even going that far with smartphones, you have all yeah. the information just oh, at, yeah. the re- at the ready. Exactly. Which is totally different. Exactly. You know, and just um, pros and cons of everything, you know? So, I can see this generation being just really concerned and hey let's and even the next you know um phase of houses maybe you know so did I ask you if you wanted if it was available would you want solar yes I, you didn't ask me that but I okay. definitely would I mean I think because um I mean I know you can use like mirror that's another thing I was going to tell you like when I was in Kenya people use mirrors to heat stuff you oh, know okay. yeah I mean it's just like how cool is that or like shiny metal yeah you know to like to like um I don't know, to just warm places. Because even though, like, Kenya's, like, on the equator, but still it was pretty, you're elevated because you're, like, in the Rift Valley area and it's, like, Mount Kenya and stuff. But people, like, have these panels. I mean, it was just interesting the, what people did to, like, stay warm in the house. Right. Yeah, you know, so. Um, but I, w- I would definitely be interested, you know. What kind of things are keeping you from Just, again, that. like, structurally. I don't know how structurally that would work. Like, if you could... Would you have to like tear down the house, you know, like cut a hole in the roof and put something there? I mean, I don't know enough about what could be done. Um, maybe some reflector thing by the window, who knows, you know? So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so okay. So, now next, I'm going to give you a map of Georgia, okay? And you're going to do the same thing that you did with the United States and pick what areas you think use the most solar energy, for okay. Georgia. And as many or as few as you, you know, whatever you see fit. Mina? Yeah. So is this Swanee here? Where's Swanee? So this is Atlanta. Roswell's there. So is Swanee like up here? I think. I guess. This is, one of these is Gwinnett, right? Oh, really? Okay. Well, I think it. This is Athens. Yeah, you're right, because Roswell's to the west. Yeah, okay, so 
Hang on. <laughs> it's got to be placed. I would guess Savannah. I mean, I'm just guessing a place with a lot of sunlight, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe Augusta. Um, maybe. Mm -hmm. I guess those two places, you know, I don't know. Because I'm guessing since the study's being done in Athens, maybe they're trying to, like, spread the, I don't know, get more people interested. I don't know. So, I would just guess, you know. I have no idea. Yeah, no, it's just based off of what you think. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's just a guess. I mean, I'm just not even familiar with... Yeah, you know, all the... Yeah, 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 yeah no, that's so, okay. totally fine. Um, but, again, what makes those um, the communities in Guster or Savannah different from the um, one that you live in? Well, I've been in Savannah. I've been at Savannah. And I just think that... Um, well, we were... Sometimes so it was, like, really hot, you know. And I could just... I don't know, I could just see people wanting to take advantage of just harnessing the sun's rays, you know, I don't know. Um, and then I was watching this, um, the Augusta National, the golf thing, I was watching this documentary on it, and so, I don't know, it just seemed kind of progressive place, I'm not sure, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, maybe Atlanta area too. You know what, I'll say Atlanta. <laughs> Because I think, because <laughs> I'm thinking you got like the universities there, uh -huh. and um, and what the is it called the Beltway? I know because my, my Mina's Beltline, yeah, Beltline. Yeah. Like Mina's like AP environmental class went there to see, and I know the new mayor um, Keisha Lance Bottoms was talking about, you know, ways to conserve and they want to you know use technology to whatever whatever. So I'm thinking maybe so. I don't know. Yeah, it's really, I love the Beltline. It's so I've never even been there. My uh, my boyfriend's house enters a part of it. Uh huh. His neighborhood, I mean. Uh huh. And so, like, we will take the like bird scooters and ride around on those oh to like gosh. get to other places closer in town. Uh -huh. And like, so and it's quicker than driving because you don't have to deal with wow. any of the traffic or anything. The bird scooters are they le electrical? Mm -hmm. or? Okay. Yeah, they're electrical. Yeah. Wow, that's neat. Did, did you meet him in Georgia? Yeah. At University of Georgia. Oh no no no. no. Okay no. But, <laughs> yeah. Um so you look so much like um my mom. Carson. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. You look so much Really? Like, him, yes. I actually I, think Carson and Sandy look um more alike then. Cuz I don't know Sandy. Okay. But I We all Carson. look Really? The oh same. my yeah. gosh. Wow. Yeah. So not to interrupt you, but um mm -hmm. so you mentioned the universities in both of these. Mm -hmm. Do you cons um associate education or research with yeah. that? I think that um cuz I'm guessing like a lot of grants are probably like government grants and it seems like maybe I can just see the government giving grants um if you're thinking of some ways to help save on costs or something you know, and better the environment. So um yeah, I would definitely think that like UGA or, you know, area, or I should say, well, but I don't know if, um, surrounding Athens, I don't know, outside the UGA community, mm -hmm. I don't know, but, um, I could really see just getting grants to explore that option, especially like Atlanta, so many, so many changes have been there with the housing and gentrification and, and even, um, I could see making this accessible to lower income houses or families yeah. to save on the electricity bills or whatever, you know, so. That would be a cool program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. But you don't necessarily associate support for it with education. It's just for the I research do. aspect. Well, no, I do because I think um, the more, let's say, schooling you have, I think then the chances of you getting a better paying job and you have more leisure time to like read, you know, and that kind of thing and just, right. and, you know, sit down and watch the news and, because I'm guessing if you're like, if you're like working, um, like salary, like a low wage job, um, and then like you, you just really push it, push it, maybe you have a couple of those jobs, you know, to make a decent income and then, I don't know, my guess is like, and this is maybe, you know, you just might want to just relax by watching something entertaining, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think if you have like a desk job or something and then, I don't know, come, come and maybe the office gets the paper or something. Or you just maybe have the, or even maybe if you have 
discretionary income to like invest. You know, you just want to be on top of these things. So yeah, I definitely think there's a connection between education and like access to information, you mm-hmm. know. So and so um what about your close friends in Georgia? Do you know anyone that has um, solar energy on their roof? Other than my one friend, um, Dale, who's, who just became a realtor. Uh-huh. Um, and again, I don't even know if they're just elevated, like, like here's the roof and there's elevated and there are these panels on the roof, you know? And so... I'm pretty sure they are because she said at one time, and probably during the Carter era, era because she said that that was just a norm for a lot of houses, you mm-hmm. know. So, um, but and then I've seen some in this neighborhood, mm-hmm. and um, just the older houses, you know, like older than like 20 years, you know. So, but I personally don't know like I anybody who's well. One of my friends. Um, they just moved to a house in Loganville and it's gorgeous, but all these like a lot of windows and things, mm-hmm. you know, but in terms of like panels or something, I don't know. So anywhere, anywhere outside of Georgia, have you seen them or know anyone? Mm-mm. No. Nope. Okay. But now <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah. You know? I know it's interesting. Like I'm, I guess I'm not a very observant person because mm-hmm. whenever talking to people and they're like, "Oh yeah, I saw one over here and over mm-hmm. there," and I'm like, "I go by there all the time. Yeah. I never notice." I've seen two, and honestly, just uh, actually this particular house I pass every day coming into the neighborhoods. I'm like, I always look up there. I'm like, hmm, and I just think it's just really interesting, you know. And and then, my, like I said, my friend's house, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, do you have any other comments? questions no this is um it was better than I expected and I'll be honest I um I didn't know what you're gonna ask me so I went on the YouTube and so I was <laughs> and it said um with you know like solar power you know and, and so it was like um just just an overview about just but it wasn't anything related to what you asked me you know yeah. and so I was like was well, like test or I mean I don't know and so um I said well let me like just but like I said it was nothing you like you asked me you know so yeah so I but now I'm really and honestly now I feel like I need to know you know this is like I really need to know this so well it's funny I think for most people I talk to myself included it's Mm -hmm. like we know about them but we don't really have any of like concrete details or information and it's kind of got me wondering too like why is that right because you know what I just realized something I used to bake cakes in Kenya outside and I guess it was like I used to I don't know if this counts as like using the sun but yeah outside and it was just like a wood stove and so I had like a a huge pot and then there was sand in the bottom of one of them and then I had inside like a cake plate you know and so and I just did and so it had the and we just I just baked it outside and like the baking club we just sold you know sold them and I just I don't know I, th- I don't know if that's related to anything at all so, no I mean that's, you know but yeah. I thought that was pretty it, I mean, it was just like the norm for people you know right so and even like rechargeable batteries and things you know um so sun powered whatever so That's good. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> so, Hi. do you have any other questions? No, but you know what? I'm definitely going to, trust me, but before you leave, I'm going to go back to YouTube and just find <laughs> out, like, how, what can you do? Because, like I said, every year my accountant's like, so, do you have any um, solar power? Do you have any, any, no? She's like, okay. Because, like, well, next that's one you the, should ask her what the, well, that's one how the, much it is. Yeah, well, she... Yeah, I know, because she said, because she's like a certified financial planner and a CPA, so she just, you know, it's okay, you know, because I've got like a goal for, you know, we all do like financial goals for whatever, and she, and she said, those are deductions, okay, have you done this? And so, and she asks me every year, like, I guess it's a little question, so, and I'm like, well, and I guess, well, she wouldn't be asking me every year if it's something that I couldn't easily put in, you know, or mm-hmm. have done, you know, mm-hmm. so, um, so I'm definitely gonna check into that. So, have you? Have you? Um, how about you? Are you? Did your family have solar panels or anything? Uh-huh. No, we don't. My, um, I was talking to my dad about it, and he's, he said he would consider it because his friend in um, Florida, 
has has them, mm-hmm. and they, you know, that's a that's a sunny state. They yeah. get so much energy from them that yeah. they're able to like sell it back to the power company. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So depending on how much sunlight you get, I think is really the biggest. Yeah. It'll, I think it can definitely lower your, your electricity oh, bill yeah, or yeah. Mm-hmm. make it obsolete. Right, but, right. Yeah. So, well, that's cool. I bet you learned a lot from, have you learned a lot of interesting things? Or I guess you've heard a lot of interesting things from yeah. different people, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't know a lot about solar energy or mm-hmm. just energy in general mm-hmm. before starting this. So I've gotten okay. to hear a lot of like really interesting okay. perspectives. What was your major? Uh, cognitive science. Like, is that like psychology or something? Or it's kind of like psychology. It's a little broader. It's got, it's the study of intelligence. Uh-huh. And so it's kind of defining that so you do psychology and linguistics and it's just learning about how we think and what constitutes thinking wow that's interesting like um computer science and ai as well in it so it's a cross-curricular kind Mm -hmm. of it's an interdisciplinary okay Mm -hmm. so what do you want to do with it like what